Hello everybody and welcome to Parks Bros. I just got off of the one, the only, Steel Vengeance. Oh my goodness. It is, in my opinion, the perfect RMC and probably the perfect coaster. I honestly am blown away in every way with this ride. I, I, I just got off of it for the first time and I was in row eight. It wasn't even in the very back or anything, but the thing, it's just, it hauls. It absolutely hauls in all the best ways. And I couldn't be happier that I was able to ride it today. Uh, finally, after waiting more than a day here, at Cedar Point. This ride is just relentless in all the right ways. I honestly kind of thought it was gonna be not my favorite in comparison to Maverick at this park, but I was wrong. Just because of how incredibly long in duration this ride is, it just keeps going and going and going. And it has all of those same RMC elements that we all love all in twice the size and I think that just makes it pack an insane punch. Absolutely blown away. I couldn't be happier with this being my hundredth coaster ever. That drop was actually way better than I was expecting and so was the rest of the ride. Absolutely incredible. Get to Cedar Point if you're an enthusiast if you can. I'm shaking right now after that ride. My breath has been taken away entirely and my legs are barely even letting me stand at this point. But Steel Vengeance is something else, and it's something that needs to be witnessed if you love coasters. Not the most intense ride, not the best airtime, but just the perfect combination of all of those types of elements in a way that doesn't kill you or, you know, make it uncomfortable. But this thing is amazing in all the right ways. It's just, it's just so, so, so good. So good. So good. <laughs> it's not even like, why is it in Ohio? That's a great question. Yeah. Like, why can't it be in California? But thank you guys for watching my first reaction to this beaut of a coaster and just insane ride overall. But until next time, we'll see you on the next ride.